Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today I thought I would do another review of my LG 4K monitor. There were a couple more things I wanted to show you since my last review, and obviously it's been a couple weeks now, so I've learned the monitor a little bit better, and there were a couple things I also wanted to correct from my first video. So this is my LG 4K monitor review revisited. Okay, so first things first, I still really love this monitor. It has really accurate color reproduction. It has really good contrast. And plus, everything just looks so good and crispy in 4K. Movies pop and gaming is just surreal. Some of the things I love to do on this monitor is watching 4K content on YouTube because I'm just a huge YouTube buff. Plus, I love gaming on this monitor. Doesn't matter how big or small the game is, trust me, it looks better in 4K. Everything just looks so much more realistic, and even in games like Rocket League, which I play all the time, it really does look better in 4K. By the way, this monitor does have AMD FreeSync, however, at the moment, AMD FreeSync only works with AMD cards. FreeSync is an open source standard, however, NVIDIA does not support it yet. So everyone write to NVIDIA now because they really should support the open standard FreeSync. I've had a couple people asking me questions about this monitor, so I'm here today to answer those questions. This monitor has two HDMI ports, a display port, and an audio out port. In my last video, I had previously stated that this monitor has speakers. I was wrong. The speakers I thought were the LG's were actually the speakers of the monitor above my LG monitor. Sorry for the confusion. The back of the monitor is white, and on the back of the stand there is a clasp that I really like that is for wire management. I really wish they would have added one more clasp a little bit higher up on the stand, just because that makes it where you can't see the wires at all from the front of the monitor. Some of you may have noticed that probably the weakest thing about this monitor is the stand itself. It looks pretty nice because it's made to look like brushed aluminum, however it's not the most sturdy stand and makes the monitor a little bit wobbly. However, this can be fixed with a simple monitor mount, either to the desk or to the wall itself. One thing that I've noticed which is really nice about this monitor is how easy it is to change the monitor settings. You can change the settings easily through a one-button joystick control on the monitor itself, or through the unique app LG has created called On-Screen Control. In this app, you can control every setting for the monitor, and even set precepts on a per-app basis. Other manufacturers definitely need to pick up on what LG is doing here, because there's no other comparison as far as how easy it is to change the settings, either on the monitor itself, or on your computer. To get LG's on-screen control app, you go to Google and type in LG support, then you'll click the first link on the Google, and type in your model number where it says type in model number or keyword. Then you'll click software, firmware, and drivers, and click the correct firmware for your computer. Once it's downloaded, you just click open and follow the correct installation instructions. Mine is already installed. That's why my instructions look a little bit differently than yours will. As I've used this monitor, I've just fallen more and more in love with it. It is an amazing 4K monitor, and the only two things I can say bad about it is the absence of speakers and kind of a wobbly stand. However, for me, neither of these two faults bother me, because I have computer speakers, and the monitor sits on a riser which never moves anyways, so it's not ever wobbling. For anyone in the search for a monitor, I would highly recommend this one. It's a great 4K monitor at a much more affordable price than it has been in the past. I will have links in the description below for everywhere you can buy the monitor. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please click that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe.
This is Zach from Next Tech News. See ya!